In this example, I'm going to go through and show how to create GIS attributes to be in Service CE, uh, which we can then bring across into the Office software. Uh, we're just going to go through a few basic steps and go from there. So first off, we're going to start with Service CE. Uh, first off, we need to make sure that when we create the job file, it has the extension CRDB. If it has CRD, it's not going to work. So give it the extension CRDB and tick OK. Next off, we're going to go into the feature code list. Uh, now this is something that you can bring in from the Office software if you hit load and FLD file. Um, but for this time, we've already got a, a FCL file running, so we're just going to keep that. If we have a quick look at this one, this is a code I've already set up for PowerPoles. We can hit edit. Uh, I've got it as a 2D polyline, electricity. If I click on point, and that'll bring a symbol and other things. Now if we click on edit feature, you notice here I've already got these attribute values in here. If we just click on one of them, I hit edit, I can see poll number, the prompt which will appear on screen is poll number, default value is character, uh, if it's required, yes or no. If we want to allow it to be editable in the field, uh, we can allow it or not. We can also add some list values and tick this box here, user list only, so that means the user must pick one of the values that's been pre-assigned. But anyway, we'll go through that in a moment, so we'll just give you a quick rundown on that. I'll green tick that. Use, save changes, yes. Uh, we're okay on that one. So what I'm going to do is just add. My new code is going to be pipe. Don't worry about the character for now. Symbol if I want. Layer. I'll put that into the pipe layer. Full text. Let me just leave it nice and simple as a pipe. Now we go here and we click on... Well, I'll give it a colour first. Here we go, new feature. We're going to add, because we're going to add a new feature. And so to start with, we want to start with the material. Uh, the prompt will be material, question mark. Um, now for this one, I'm going to do some list values. So we just click on add, and now type the material. So I'm going to go with PVC. I'll add one more. We can go concrete. And we can go cast. Iron as well. So we'll green tick on that. Um, we can move this up and down depending on top to bottom how where you'd like it to come. Uh, we can set a default value. At the moment the default is PVC because it was the first one. I can choose for the default value to be concrete just by clicking on that. Or I can not have a default value by clicking clear default. Um, so I'm happy with all that. So I'm going to green tick that and you can see now I've got an attribute. I'm just going to add one more. I think we might do the diameter. Again, just going to have it here with a question mark. Um, I'll add some list values. Uh, bearing in mind these are in meters. So apologies for any, anyone overseas. Um, so we'll go 0.05. Next one would be 0.1 of a meter. Uh, 0.25. Half a meter. So I'm happy with that. Um, default value, I'd rather have it clear so that something doesn't automatically get entered in. Uh, we'll go with use list only, just so that some one of these values must be chosen. And we'll green tick that, and that's fine. So we're going to hit save. Might have it as a 2D polyline. I can give it a width. We'll green tick that as well. Um, fine with that. Hit back. We want to save it. Yes. That adds it to the FCL file. And don't forget that FCL file can then be brought into Carson Survey, the Office software. Um, I'll show you how to do that as well. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to go into survey, store point that up. So we're into here, we're now going to click on the description. We can see our two codes are here, the pipe and the power pole. I'm going to use the power pole to start with. Um, I'm just running in simulation mode. Happy with that. Bring that height down to something reasonable. And then I'm just going to hit store point. Now, this is where all the information's come from. So, as soon as I hit that store point button, all this information pops up on the screen. I can choose my material. So, I'm going to go with a concrete pole. I can give it a pole number. Um, the status, I can new. And the condition, obviously, is going to be new as well. I can add a photo to that. Um, I've already stored some photos here, so I'm just going to bring these in. Uh, you can obviously capture these directly on your controller. 
So we'll click on that, that power pole. That looks good. So we'll green tick that and save. And away we go. So I'm just going to store a couple more points. Get my cursor to move up a little bit. It's good. Again, I can fill in these values as I go along. Uh, new, new. I'm going to attach a photo. I'll just go back. That one. And we're going to save that. That's done as well. You can see my line work's being generated. Let me join one more. I'm just going to change that to 203. Still a new poll, and it's still new. Again, I'll attach a photo just so you can see it being brought in across into 2017. Tick that, tick that, and we'll save. Okay, now I'm just going to do some pipe work as well, just so you can see exactly how it joins with the new code that we just created. Okay, so we're going to change our code to pipe, green tick, store. Concrete diameter, and this is where. So you can see here, I didn't have a default value, so there's nothing there. But you notice as well, I can't actually type in anything because I've forced it to only use list values. Um, you can notice with the concrete, I can actually type in other values if I want. Um, so we'll go with the concrete, 0.1 of a diameter. I don't have any pictures, so we'll hit save on that and send it down a little bit further. We'll store another point, still a 0.1 of a pipe. Store that, and we'll do the last one down here somewhere. Install that again. Concrete point one save. Okay, and now that's it. That's all we have to do in Serve CE. Now, when you copy the files across to your computer, the critical files you must have are obviously your CRDB file, but the other one is a .vtt file. Now that .vtt file contains the attributes we just stored onto those points. So we can exit out of Service CE. So in here, we'll go to points. Uh, we'll set our coordinate file. Okay, you can see the CRDB file. I'm going to open that one up. So if I go to points, edit points, notice that my, uh, my point notes are already in here, attached to those points, which is great. So I can exit out of that. Now, what we're going to do is, I'm going to actually run field to finish to start with. Just because I want to see the photos being brought in. Cancel that one. Uh, now this is where I was talking about the code table. So if I go to edit codes, I can go to code table settings. I can import the codes from ServCE. So we import ServCE codes. There's my file there. Hit open. Two codes. Okay, and there you can see that's these two codes were created in ServCE, and I've just brought them straight into here. It works the same way. You can then export that and bring in the FLD file just directly into ServCE if you so choose. Um, so that's all fine. So we're just going to hit save on that. And we're going to exit out. I'm going to draw all my points. Raise existing. Make sure that's fine. Run field to finish. And there are my points. Now, if I double click on one of these, you can see that all my information there, my symbols there, all my note data is there. I don't have any GIS data at the moment, but my image is there. So that's a photo I just attached to the point in SurfCE. So same if I was actually using a controller and taking photos, that's where my image would be. So that's that's good to know. Settings are fine, so we'll hit OK. Now, this is where the VTT file comes in handy. Now, you must have the GIS module to do this. So we're going to run the GIS module. So now that we're in the GIS module, I can go to GIS data, point GIS editor. And then I've got nothing there. So what I'm going to do is attach my data to those points. So we're going to go to File, Import, Service EGIS Attributes, the VTT file. Click on that. And there's my VTT file that I brought across with my CRDB file. I'm going to hit Open on that. Six points are updated. And as we can see, there are our points with all the GIS information attached. Now from here, I can click on the Report button. Um, I've added all of these features across here. And then I can export that as a to display it. I can send it to an Excel document. I can create it as a table entity to be brought in on screen. Time being, I'm just going to hit display. And there are my points. I can now print that off if I want to have it for my own records uh, or provide it as part of the report. Just close out of that. Exit out of that one. 
Yeah, exit out of this. And now, if I double click on one of my points, I go to the GIS tab, there's all my GIS information. Again, if we click on the new one over here, there's my information again, along with all my note data and general information. And that's how you can do some basic GIS attributing in Serve CE.